Guten Tag, das Maschine is sehr schön. That is German for good day, this machine is gorgeous. And as the camera pans around, you can see that with your own eyes. The, um, the decaling on this, uh, the paint, just the overall appearance of the machine, it has had very, very little use and it has been very much pampered. Uh, this Foff 230, obviously German made, born back in 1955, and with a 1.1 amp Foff original motor, wait until you see it on the sew-offs. It is everything about heavy duty. Just an amazing, fun machine. And we really appreciate uh, the bidders and, and buyers being patient because we know we've been offline for a couple of weeks and we've gotten a number of notes from folks about when are you going to list your next machine? What is it? What is it? What is it? Here it is. What a great machine it is and it's well worth the wait. Let's go ahead and start on the bottom right here. And this control is a very simple way to lower the feed dogs. If you're looking to do freehand embroidery, if you're dealing with more delicate materials, or if you're just wanting to not have those feed dogs engaged, with a simple movement, hopefully the camera has a shot of the feed dogs as well, with a simple little movement, you can lower them and just as easily move this control back to bring them into an up position again. Okay, also in this same area over here of the machine on the right side, we've got a very easy control for on-off of the light. Simply push it, it goes off and back on again. This machine also has what I think is kind of a cool feature in relation to the light. If you kind of get a general shot of this area right here, you can see by simply rotating this, we're able to lower the light down when it burns out. If you have to replace it, and then with a simple movement, it goes right back up into the housing area out of the way again. So really a great convenient way with bigger hands. It's sometimes hard to get your hands in there to, to change out a bulb. What a great feature on this FOF 230. All right, back over to this area again. You can see right here we've got a control area for stitch length and also reverse. If you want to sew in reverse, you simply rotate this control to the left. You're going in reverse and then simply move it back to resume sewing forward again. Also a very convenient control for stitch length. And let me mention, this FOF 230 has actually a wider stitch length variation than any of the Singer models I've ever sewn on. It actually goes from five stitches per inch and all the way down to 30 stitches per inch. And you can see by simply moving this control either to the right or to the left, we can alter that stitch length and I'm not going to move with the full range, but you get the idea. Let me show you an example of what we generated with this FOF 230, and you can see just how beautifully it stitches. In these blue-purple regions here, near the stars and on the outer edges of this, uh, of this uh, snowman, you can see we're pretty close to that 30 stitches per inch. The stitches are almost uh, invisible because we're so small on that stitch length variation. But as you move to the outer edges, you can see we get pretty close to that five stitches per inch on the border and the frame around this applique. But the final result is just a beautiful representation and an illustration of what you can generate with this machine. And you are just as capable of generating a gorgeous project like this uh, as we are. When you've got a quality machine and uh, it's so easy to use, you'll be amazed at the projects that you can generate. Also, as with all of our machines, we're going to be including an original owner's manual. This manual will cover every aspect of this FOF 230, so the ease of use is just a breeze. It also will guide you through the simple steps of maintaining this FOF 230. Now, when you get the machine, don't concern yourself about that because, on average, we spend about six to eight hours on every single machine going inside and out, servicing it, cleaning it, lubricating it, timing it, everything that needs to be done in order to make that machine ready to go and ready to go to work when it reaches your doorstep. But when that routine maintenance does come due, this manual will guide you through the very, very simple steps of maintaining this machine at the optimal sewing level that you'll receive it in. And the machine is, uh, is so easy to use, but the manual does a beautiful job of covering all aspects of using this machine. 
uh, even down to how to do, see if I can find it relatively quickly here, uh, even down to how to do a buttonhole with the machine. A lot of machines you'll have to add an attachment to it uh, in order to do a buttonhole with this FOF 230 with four simple steps. You can generate a perfect buttonhole without putting any attachment on the machine whatsoever. And I'll show you just briefly uh, as we go through the machine. Uh, and look at again, look at some of these decorative features that this machine is capable of doing. And I'll just kind of get to the back here. I wanted to show you one other neat uh, feature. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? But towards the back, and hopefully I can find it, there is a quick summary of the various, there it is, a quick summary of the various uh, stitches that are capable with this FOF 230. I love this one, and I'll, I'm not going to demonstrate actually sewing it, but I'm going to show you how it, how it works on this machine so you can try it in your own home. But look at that cool curving type stitch you can generate with this machine. Again, no attachments, simply using the features of this machine itself. And all these others are also possible to generate from this machine as well. So not only do you have an amazing machine with a 1.1 amp motor that can sew through anything, and you'll see that in the sew-offs, but look at the creative and the decorative side of this machine as well. Amazing, amazing German engineering. And speaking of German engineering, let's go back to the machine, and I want to, I've already uh, loosened the top, it, it basically snaps on, snaps off. I'm going to lift this up a little bit so you can get a glimpse and kind of hold it on the side here, a glimpse into the machine. Everything steel, everything forged steel, reinforced, even down to these dual drive belts here that have those steel teeth. So when you're sewing heavy duty, I'm telling you, nothing we put in, in front of this machine has even caused a, a, a hesitation from this amazing German engineered, German engineered machine as a result of those steel reinforced belt drives. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to go ahead and snap this back into place, which is just as easy to get it off as it is on. And uh, let's talk a little bit about bobbin winding real quick. Right here is obviously where you would put the bobbin. You're going to bring the thread around uh, this tension control back over to the bobbin, engage it, and then once it's done winding, it'll simply disengage again. And you'll notice on top of the machine, you're only seeing one spool pin right now, right? Well, here's our other one, hidden behind. I love the feature that these collapse so that if you're moving the machine around or storing it, you're not going to accidentally bend one or break one off, which sometimes can happen. Notice as well as we move away from this spool pin how easy this FOF is to thread. We come over here through these uh, two guides right here, down through the tension control, up to the arm, and then all the way down to the presser foot. And look at the clearance underneath that presser foot. It is unbelievable. And you'll see that in the sew-offs when it comes to the clearance. And on top of that, we even have a very modest hyperextension as well to add even a little bit more clearance. Now if you're deciding to change out thread or something like that, we've got a little hidden automatic threader right here so that you can quickly change out threads uh, and move on to the other parts of your project. This machine is just amazing. And you'll see in the other sew-offs what it's capable of doing from a heavy-duty sew-off. But before we transition to those other sew-offs, let me show you something real quick. I thought it would be fun, and part of the reason that I opened up the, the uh, introductory video uh, introducing it in German is because I wanted to give kind of a German flavor to this great machine. And we're going to be literally giving some German flavor to it by throwing in a fun chocolate bonus. Now, if you're working on a hard, long project and you need a little bit, little bit of a break, could it get any better than this? Genuine German chocolate uh, imported from Germany and just a sweet addition to this amazing FOF 230. Also, you'll see it in the photo, the various photos, you'll see that we're also going to be including making your own teddy bear. Uh, there is always a challenge when you've got specialty items about this, finding a resource that makes it simple so anybody can make a custom teddy bear. 
This is the best book that I've found to do that. This will also be included as a bonus with this listing. Make sure you check out our other videos as well where we show what this FOF 230 with those amazing direct drive type steel reinforced belts and that 1.1 amp motor can do with heavy duty sewing.